of Persia. At the turn of the century, a poor agricultural country, rich only in legend and undeveloped natural resources. Concession to search for and develop possible oil fields. After seven years of costly and unrewarded effort, oil was struck at last and drilling commenced. The great oil company was formed and as large quantities of crude oil began to gush from the barren soil, the construction of the first refinery was begun in Abadan. In 1911, the oil field was linked to the newly built refinery. As the oil seeped out, so benefits flowed in to Persia. New bridges were built to support the progress of a thriving industry. Brick houses replaced huts of baked mud for the Persian employees, and schools became an accepted feature. For the first time, Persian children received the advantages of primary and secondary education. For the need for bigger staffs, Persians were taught to become technicians, and the theory of the classroom was supported by practical application in the workshop. Now, in Abadan, the world's largest oil refinery by the first pipeline. developed and prospered. With the growth of mechanization of oil, fed by countless pipelines from the oil, it was in 1901 that British experts were granted to transport the finished product to the great ports of the world. So today, 50 years of British foresight and achievement has produced a vital industry. Can mutual understanding solve the present crisis, preserving for mankind oil from the wells of Persia?